Hi friends, welcome to Sri Sai IT Hub. In this video of Core Java Programming, we are going to discuss the following topics. Array list class with generic collections in Java Collections Framework. So first of all, we'll understand what is collection framework in Java. So coming to Java Collections, it means collection of objects or group of objects as a single unit or single object in Java program. So what is framework? So framework means it is a library which is provided by Java to work with Java collections of collection of objects. And this library is available to us in java.util package. So in collections framework, we have collection interface, which is a top level interface or base interface for different classes. And interfaces which are available in Java collections framework. So under this collection interface, we have four popular collections. First one, list collection, second one, set collection, third one, queue collection, and fourth one, map collection. So list, set, queue are sub interfaces for collection interface, whereas map interface it is not inherited from collection interface, but still it is part of Java collections framework. So coming to some technical points. So Java collections is only for objects, but not primitive data types. So if we store any primitive data type also internally, it will be stored in the form of object only. Hence collections, everything, every data is object itself to be more precise. It will be object class object format where object class is a super class for all the classes in Java programming. So now coming to array list class with generic collections. So first of all, array list class is available in java.util package and array list class is inherited from list interface, which is inherited from collection interface and collection interface is inherited from iterable interface. So array list class is clonable, serializable and random access. All these three are inherited marker interfaces. So marker interfaces means will not have any data members or abstract methods. They just provide special functionality for our class. So clonable methods provides functionality like cloning. So serializable provides serialization and deserialization. So random access provides accessing the objects of array list class randomly using indexes. So if we see the description of the array list class, Java P hyphen P Java dot util dot array list, go to the command prompt, go to your working directory and issue this command. So coming to the array list class. So array list class, it is inherited from list interface and then random access clonable and serializable. Right. So coming to some technical points related to the array list class. So array list is a collection of objects as one dimensional array. Array list provides indexes to collection of objects and these indexes will range from 0 to size minus 1. Array list accepts duplicate objects. Array list preserves the order of objects. Means E indicates it is a generic parameter. So generic parameter means if you pass integer, it will store only integers. If you pass string, it will store only string. So that is what is E here. Array list E. So we are going to use this default constructor with the initial capacity of 10. And then we are going to add elements, generic elements with given specific data type. Add E. E indicates generic parameter. It will add only, it will check and store only that particular objects. Similarly, get of int. So when we say get of int, it will return that particular object only. Uh, so no need to do any downcasting here. So we can also use add int index comma e generic object. So e indicates generic object here. So so these are some methods related to generic array list collection. So coming to generic array list collection. So this feature is introduced in JDK 1.5 and using this feature we can store collection of objects with respect to their data types. 
and it is done with the help of generic data types or parameterized data types so while creating collection class object at that time only we are going to specify which object need to be stored into the collection so by default all classes and interfaces are generic collections in java collections framework so if we see the description java p hyphen p java dot util dot array list so e indicates generic parameter it is a generic parameter e so how to create the objects it's very simple here array list followed by diamond operator okay so this is called as less than and the greater symbol greater than symbol is called as diamond operator so using diamond operator we are going to pass the generic parameter array list with integers al is equals to new array list with integers right so for example in array list you are adding 10 it is accepted it will check and store only integers if we add java string it is error not accepted 5.6 f float error not accepted 20 accepted so check and store it will check for integers and store that in the array list and when we access we don't require down casting for example array list dot get off zero it will directly return 10 so we can store that in x no need to do down casting similarly array list dot get off when it will directly return 20 so we can directly store that in integer variable y so here we don't require this integer down casting basically it will store in object class object format but here in generic collections it is not required right so the advantages of collections is checkered collections and type safe collections and whenever we are storing <coughs> it performs auto boxing automatically and whenever we are accessing the data jvm perform auto unboxing automatically so these are advantages of generic collections so let us try to demonstrate this with a small program array list class example line dot java so take a new page first we'll write the comments program to demo array list class with generic collections import java dot util package take the main class with main method and save this program in your working directory right so initially we'll create a generic array list and pass integer as generic parameter using diamond operator al is equals to new array list with integers so print array list initially it will be empty so let us execute till here right so save this come to the command prompt so java c so array list class example 9 dot java no error now if you see here we are also not getting uh, unchecked and unsafe collection so for example if we remove this generic parameter integer and compile it save recompile we'll get the warning okay right so we'll get a warning generally uh, when we try to add anything into the array list okay so let us try to add some data here right so save it right recompile so we got a note warning saying that we are using unchecked and unsafe operations means without checking we are storing 10 and without checking we are accessing all those values but if we use integer as generic parameter then that error is gone so after that we are adding 10 it will check and store 10 and then 20 30 print array list save it recompile so that warning is gone it is not an error warning so run it 10 20 30 0 1 2 indexes so now let us try to put java we'll get a error 
recompile so incompatible types string cannot be converted to integer so reason is we are specifying generic parameter integer so it will accept only integers into the array list collection so similarly if we add 1.5 or true then also we'll get the error incompatible types incompatible types for 1.5 true floating value boolean value right so check and store only integers and then when we are accessing no need to do downcasting right so let us add few more objects in between array list dot add index 1 40 index 2 50 print array list save recompile and run so first index 40 second index 50 third index fourth index zeroth index 10 right so after that we will access without downcasting right so array list dot get of 0 10 so when we are accessing 10 generally it will be in object class object format but here it will be stored as integer object so no need to do downcasting we have already mentioned while creating the object that we are going to store only integers so when you are storing only integers when you are accessing integer it will return only integer store that in x y and print it so this is what is all about array list class with generic collections in java collections framework thank you for watching this video do like comment and share this video and also subscribe to the youtube channel sri sai it hub have a nice day